Welcome back to VTV here in association with Gator College Media Productions. Uh, tonight again we're at Whitley Bay Ice Rink for the visit of the Cardiff Devils, the latest in the long line of Newcastle Cardiff encounters. Last night Newcastle United 5-1 over Cardiff City and earlier on today England over Wales in the rugby 30-17. So we'll see what happens tonight. Big crowd in here at Whitley Bay. Let's check the highlights.
yeah, I thought we played very well. I thought, I, like I said, I, I think the last while we just haven't got results. We, I think we played well. Obviously, Coventry kind of, I felt uh, we didn't maybe play as well. I thought we played a little bit too individual. Guys were trying to beat guys one on one, and against a team like Coventry, we just turned too many pucks over, and it cost us. But the last few weeks, I think we played well. Our energy level has been there. I thought against Edinburgh, we lost the game with a couple minutes to go, a couple of shaky goals, and. And uh, but overall, we've been we've been wasling. We should have won in Cardiff. So I knew that if we played and we kept playing as a team the rest of the game, I, I felt we were going to win. But um, this this team has to learn how to close out games. And tonight was a good lesson. And hopefully, uh, we can continue and build from this. How important was that goal at the end of the first? Because you had the energy, you've had the dominating of the play first period, and then conceding that soft goal. That could have, if you didn't get that goal back, perhaps you could have went down with your heads down. Yeah, definitely. I mean. Uh, I was uh, really upset over that goal. We just we gave them something that shouldn't have, they didn't deserve. And uh, you know, when you do that, sometimes that can really, when you're not, you know, getting the results you want, it can really give you uh, uh, a real lack of confidence, I guess, going into the rest of the game. But we bounced back, and uh, it was a big goal. And I, I thought we outplayed them all game. I thought they had some spells, but on the most part, I thought we we outplayed them. I thought our energy level tonight was great. Obviously, the energy level helped by having the two extra bodies in. Uh, Brian and Brent making their home debut. Solid performance from them. Yeah, but then we lose Gooey, so it's really only one guy in. You know what I mean? So, but yeah, both of them played very well. I thought Ryan positionally was excellent tonight. Um, I thought uh, he did a very good job positionally. He gets in shooting lanes. He's a very really simple player, but it can be very effective. And I think Husey, once he gets uh, once he gets in shape, I'm gonna try him in lobby. And uh, Dino's playing well, but we'll try him in lobby and. Uh, and uh, Matty Crouch together. All three guys are pretty gifted offensively, so maybe that line can really, uh, really tick with some offense. That was a conscious thing tonight. Uh, it was a bit noticeable that there was a lot more hitting going on, a lot more physicality from the Vipers. Was it because it was Cardiff, or was it a conscious decision to, to play that way? Uh, no, I think again, you know, we've been so short bodies. I think the start of the year we we made a, we hit, we finished our checks, and I think that. Uh, I think you know we, we we play like that with energy and we play physical on the four check when when we do have more guys in the lineup and like I said we get lobby back then we can put a line together of of Dino and, and Salem and uh, and Tinsel get them out and get guys a little bit more rest and they can be really just a line that goes out gives you 25 25 30 seconds of just energy getting hits and then uh, and get our big guns rested up and we can really go out teams with energy and really try and go out the other team's defense. And finally the next pull tomorrow night. And then the big weekend, the Edinburgh home and away. Obviously, that battle between fifth and sixth, it's, it's getting pretty congested there. Yeah, it's a, it's a real important next three games for us. I really felt tonight was a huge game because of those those games, and and I really think that we need to, uh, you know, if we're gonna if we're gonna go for fifth, which I'd like to get fifth, I really would. I think that we match up well with Cardiff. I like that matchup for the playoffs. They're gonna finish fourth. And um, I really would like to see if we, uh, I mean, I don't care who I play, you know the way I am with that stuff, Craig. I'm not really bothered because I'll adapt to whoever we play, but I'd like it. I'd like to finish fifth and I'd like a, a go at Cardiff. So a fantastic atmosphere here at Hillheads. The rink was rocking there in the third period and Vipers coming on top. Four goals to one, those two late goals putting the gloss on a win. Great performance between the pipes from Michelle Robinson. 49 saves from him and solid debuts here at home from Ryan Geordie and Brent Hughes. The Vipers go to Hull tomorrow night trying to consolidate this win and then are back here on Saturday against the Edinburgh Capitals. First of two back-to-back -back games over the Valentine's weekend and the Vipers will be wearing their Valentine shirts next Saturday. Thanks very much for watching. This has been VTV which is produced for the Vipers by Gated College Media Productions.